The American Red Cross is offering online courses to help deal with COVID-19 as it relates to work and home life. That includes returning to work safely and dealing with your mental health. Joining us now, details is Ryan Yamane from the American Red Cross. And good morning to you, Ryan. Thank you for inviting us. Yes, thanks for being here. Of course, we all know you as a lawmaker, but you're wearing your <laughs> Red Cross hat and literally your, your T-shirt today. Let's get into some of the classes that the Red Cross is offering because during this time, it's, it's very important that we all take care of ourselves, and that includes taking care of our mental health. Right. Yes, is you know, during this time, there's a lot of stress uh, with COVID. You know, parents are not only taking care of their children and dealing with work issues, but also helping with education. So Red Cross offers two major courses. One is called Psychological First Aid, which we help talk about things like stress, um, dealing, you know, helping others identify stress. And then we also have a second course called Coping in Today's World, which what we do is uh, we help people understand what stress does, uh, some of the triggers. We look at ways of uh, ha uh, improving their resilience um, and helping them find resources to help themselves and others. What about services for mental health? What kind of services does the Red Cross offer during disasters while dealing with COVID? Sure. Um, you know, part of Red Cross's services, we have a um, majority of us are volunteers. And what we do for uh, mental health is uh, we reach out to families both after fires or disasters, for example, like uh, fires in California or major incidences with um, hurricanes or, you know, uh, mass events. Um, basically, disaster mental health, what we do is we go and reach out to people as well as uh, workers and first responders, you know, to just offer them a friendly ear, help them um, understand some of the impacts of a disaster and ways to uh, get resources to help with their resilience. Yeah, because everybody responds to disasters differently, yeah, individually. Right. So what's one piece of advice you would have for caring for others during COVID? Well, during this time, it's a pro, uh, we call it like the pandemic a prolonged disaster. You know, it's not one major event and then a recovery. It's an ongoing situation. So, you know, we encourage people to make sure that they take care of themselves. You know, as we focus on our family and our ohana, um, and we're focused on, you know, our children's or, you know, um, education, we also want people to take time away to, uh, to focus on their emotional situation and you know if it becomes to a point where your emotions or your stress overtake what you're doing we encourage finding a way of de-stressing like a hobby meditation yoga and if you can't do that or you might need additional assistance reach out you know um, ask for counseling you can always call the red cross and we can assist uh, please call our chapter um, and you know we just want people to know that the red cross is always here for them you also suggest getting a good night's sleep. Sometimes that yes. goes a long way. That goes a long way. Eating healthy, um, you know, getting some personal time. We, we encourage parents to, even if it's five minutes, just to close your eyes and relax or meditate actually can go a long way. Yeah. Um, sometimes we get overstimulated with what's going around us. And so we don't really take care of ourselves. Yeah. And then we get burnout. Where can people find more information on these classes? Uh, well, please, if you need to, uh, please visit American Red Cross Hawaii Chapter online. Uh, you can also call our chapter headquarters at 734-2101. And actually, Red Cross, we have um, a helpline. It is 1-800-985-5990. And, you know, there's a list of resources and, you know, to, especially on this Veterans Day, you know, American Red Cross has a wide variety of options to assist, you know, not only for you just to, if you wanted to give back or participate, but also if you need services, as well as if you're in the military, we also have services um, uh, with that as well, serving our Armed Forces program. And we'll have all of this information posted on our website as yes. well. Ryan Yamai, yeah. thanks so much for joining us this okay, morning. Take care. Thank you. you Aloha. Too. We'll break down the stories you need to know about.